Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. We are up to the next part of our Make a Junk Journal With Me series where we are putting our pages together. So all of our pages are prepared, the feature pages, the writing pages, the interactive novelty pages. So let's go ahead and put these together. So I think what I want to do is have a decorative page to start us off. And I think I just really am drawn to that bird. I love that bird. And I like the idea of putting this one at the front because we have something decorative, but we also have some writing space there. All right, so I want to put that one there. And then let's just have a look at our pages here. So I'm just going to put them into piles novelty pages go together and our pocket pages are going to go together as you can see i've stitched up these pockets now took those to my sewing machine what i usually like to do then is work with my bigger pages first and then i'll add my smaller pages in at the end so i'm going to go straight for one of these and I usually like to alternate. So what I'm going to do, I could order this straight away from the start, or I could do it as I go. Um, what am I going to do? I will also be thinking of a middle page. What page do I want as a middle page? I think I want a ledger. So that there is some writing space in the middle page too. So I know that's my front, that's my middle. And then I want probably, yeah, I love this page, that's gorgeous. And then I might put a narrow page. So what I'm thinking about as I'm arranging my pages is the different looks. So I've got a large page. Now I want something different. So instead of putting another large page, I'm going to put one of my narrow pages. And then you get to see these beautiful layers, which is wonderful. And then after that, I might put, I'm just thinking, would the vellum we want like a novelty page next i'm just wondering if that might look nice with that edge there that does look quite nice <laughs> and then do i want a ledger or something like that oh i like that that looks quite nice and we'll just have a look at what that looks like so yeah i'm liking that layering so that's why i'm always looking back and forth through the journal because i'm seeing how it all looks together as well as how it looks page on page so then after that one i think now i want a blank page so i might go for no i don't want that one i want maybe you so now we have something different again a flip out page here and again i'm loving all these layers peeking through on this side after that i think i want something so on a planar page i like the idea of having something a bit busier so something like that and then this is quite busy there so I might get something like let's have a look something more like this and then I might want a vellum page so another novelty page because our first novelty page was over here we've got a decent amount of pages before we get to something that looks different a different texture and then I might, 
I always with my vellum page, I like having something that you can see through so that you get double value out of that page. And I'm just wondering, I think I like this one here with the script. So a line and a script here. All right. And then after that, we haven't had a narrow page for a while. Maybe I do a narrow page. And then that again will get you all these beautiful layers peeking through there. Beautiful. So then now I'll do my flap on the other side. So we get this flap here. Again, we're seeing those layers. And then we have this one, or I think I might go with this one. I really love this page. That's gorgeous. Okay. And then I might do one of you. Now, I do go through this a few times sometimes. Just because I won't be happy with the order necessarily. But I'm just going to fill in now with my smaller pages. So I've got this glassine bag and I want that one to go here. Like that. And then I'll just flick through. Keep looking. I might even put this pocket page here. Because I reckon that will look nice with that. Okay, let me just center everything. And I'm just constantly going back and forth and looking. So now I want something here because I want to break up the two pages that look similar. And I'm going to put that one here. And I might even... So what I like doing, I like putting my pocket pages up high because I tend to, when I sew in pockets, put them at the bottom and I don't want too much bulk at the bottom. So if I can put it up a bit higher, then there's something thick here, something thick here, not thick, thick, thick all down here. So let's have a look at that again. And let's have a look. So here, 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 yes, very good. Loving the different looks, the different layers. This is fantastic. My aim, when I'm making like a Make a Junk Journal With Me series, I am trying to make it as in the spirit of the junk journal style as possible, meaning layers, different types of papers, interactivity, all that kind of jazz. If I was making a journal for myself, it would have none of this. It would just have large, full-size pages. So I'm just having a look through seeing where I might want to add something. I might want to add something here actually to break up the two coffee dye pages. Yep, that's nice. I like that. And then what I'm looking for is I'm going to break these two up here because I don't like it could work there's nothing wrong with that but I'm just not liking that you can see the horizontal or the vertical lines on both so I'm just going to put this one here and that breaks that up and then what I can do is break that up with my pocket page like so again I'll move that down move that one up and then you've got all these gorgeous layers here and that's much nicer now to my eye anyway yeah much nicer 
Okay, so let's have another look at this. And I just want to do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And then I have an extra page, so 25. I'm going to use that one. All right, so I was thinking I want this one here. And then I just need to find a place for my envelope. So let's have a look through. And I'm just going to have a look where I think that would look best. I think right about either here or here. Okay, I like it here. Like that. And now I just need to find a place for this one. Whoops. And let's do a pass through again. I could put it there actually. Have some lines. But we'll just keep going. There might be another place that I like it better. Um, here I could put it there too. That could look good. Just having another quick look. Yeah, I think I like it right about here. Perfect. Again, all those different looks, loving it, all those layers. So that is my 25 pages. And you are most welcome to replay this video, stop and pause it if you're making the exact same journal that I'm making. If you want to go through that all again and I know some people save these types of videos when they go to make a journal so that they can they struggle with layout um, so hopefully yeah this helps you with that these videos will always be on my channel so don't worry they're not going to get taken down and you are most welcome to keep referring back to them if you need to now all I'm going to do is trim these pages down. If I wasn't doing an embellished journal, I wouldn't worry about trimming these yet. I would bind it and then trim them. But since I'm going to be adding pockets, I don't want the pockets to be on the edge and then have to trim it down and oh no, the pocket is ruined then. So what I'm going to do is trim everything now so that when I put my pockets down, I will know that they will definitely be there. No more trimming is required. So it's usually just the middle pages, the inner pages that need the trimming. So I'm just going to trim these down. And I do allow space for trimming when I fold my pages. So if there's something pretty at the top, I will make sure I fold that in a lot more than I need to, um, than I might need to. So. Just going to stick that in and have a look at how we're going here with the trimming. Yes, I still need to trim this page here. Again, you don't have to do this necessarily because some people don't mind their pages sticking out. For me, I like the cover to cover the pages. But it really doesn't matter if you like the look of them hanging out a little bit. That could be more of the junky style that you like. So I am mostly happy with this now. I just feel like I want to cut off the vellum a little bit more. And this is where it becomes like Barbie's hair is what I call it 
where you give Barbie a haircut when you're a kid and you're trying to get it straight and even and what that means is you just keep going and going and going until Barbie has no hair left. <laughs> so sometimes I can get like that with my pages. I can keep going and going and going until I'm like, oh wow, they're all very, very short now. So I have to sometimes restrain myself and just let them be. And because some people like them all the same width, I'm not fussed about that. But if you like them the same width, you might be best getting a paper trimmer for that actually. Um, but I just use this, I look at it and see, with my eye, I can just see how it's going. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that now. That is nice. Look at that, I love doing that. I'm just seeing all the layers, all the different types of papers, so fun. All right. Let's go ahead, we'll see you in the next video where I will show you how I add pockets to my journal. All right, have fun making your own. I'll see you in the next video. Bye thank guys. you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in September. I could not do this without you, so thank you so much for allowing me to create and share videos for yet another month. If you'd like to become a patron in October, uh, the link will be below in the description box. That's where you get access to behind the scenes looks, sneak peeks, first access to my journals. Uh, at the Ruby level, you get all printables from my Etsy shop. Emerald level, you get extra printables, and then there are some mail tiers as well. I'm also running my courses, my journaling courses again in October, so feel free to sign up for any of those. Just send me an email and check the, all the links in the description box below for ways to contact me and be part of the world of Willowbound Journals.